President Obama said he did send a plane load of foreign currency to Tehran, and it was not in exchange for the release of hostages, but rather to repay a 38-year-old debt to the government of the Shah of Iran. This directly contradicts what Iranian officials said about the deal. Obama said he was forced to pay cash because the mullahs would not take his check without ID. Also, given the state of the U.S. Treasury, he didn't want to bounce the check. The White House insisted that the $400 million in cash would not be used to fund terrorism against us because each bill was clearly marked with a stamp that says, not legal tender for terror transactions.